We've got some more details on the Starlink Mini we reported on yesterday, including now the DC power supply options and power consumption info. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Chris with the Mobile Internet Resource Center here to give you a quick update on the Starlink Mini that we covered yesterday. This is the new smaller little brother of the Starlink Gen 3 that has been in the works for over a year and is now at last seemingly coming to market in, well, according to Elon, shipping in the next few months. And over this past 12 hours or so, SpaceX has actually published the technical specifications and setup guide on their website. So now we have some more details that we didn't have with our story yesterday. So first off, we've got the size and weight and what comes in the box detail. So the Starlink Mini is indeed pretty small. It weighs just barely over two and a half pounds and will easily fit in a backpack. So this makes it a very, very portable kit. And we know now it comes with a detachable kickstand so you can set it up on a table and give it its optimal angle. The Starlink app will guide you through aiming it. And it also comes with a pole mount adapter in the kit that you get as well. Now, what, what else do you get? Well, you get a 15 meter power cord. So it doesn't have batteries. It does need to be powered. And that cord will go to a power adapter that goes AC to DC, but it can also run directly off of DC power. It can take any voltage input between 12 volts and 48 volts. But how much power does it need? We've got that specification as well. The average power consumption of the Starlink Mini is supposed to be just 25 watts. So that's still a lot compared to cellular devices, but it is drastically less than the Starlink standard and particularly the Starlink high performance models. So much more power efficient, um, much smaller device, very easily portable. And well, it does have um, even an option to run off of USB-C. So if you've got a USB-C power adapter that can put out 100 watts, Starlink will have an accessory available that will convert from the barrel connector that goes into the Starlink Mini into the um, USB-C power adapter. So a lot of flexible options to power this. You'll be able to run it off of potentially battery packs and everything else. It is still, well, 25 watts is a lot. And if you have snow melt mode enabled, that can use up to 60 watts. So that's the power details on the Starlink Mini. Now, one other important detail that came out in the, the specifications that were published is the details on the integrated Wi-Fi router. So the Starlink Mini actually has its own Wi-Fi router built right into it. So you don't need a separate router box, but this router is kind of disappointing. The specs say it is a Wi-Fi 5 router, so it's still dual band 2.4 and 5 gigahertz, but it is Wi-Fi 5, not Wi-Fi 6 like the, the router that comes with the Starlink Gen 3, and not Wi-Fi 7 like is the you know, current new emerging standard. So it's several steps back in Wi-Fi technology. It only supports WPA2 uh, security, not WPA3. So it is a bit disappointing on the Wi-Fi and the routing capabilities, but the Starlink Mini does have an Ethernet port and can be set into pass-through mode. So if you've got a more capable router, like a lot of nomads uh, use Peplink routers or other things like that to combine Starlink with cellular, you can just use the Ethernet port on the Starlink Mini, hook it into your more capable system, and you know, just ignore the built-in Wi-Fi router entirely. So that is the latest on the, the Starlink Mini. We see um, evidence that SpaceX has been working on updating their website to make it available for sale. We don't know how quickly that will be. Um, wouldn't be surprised if it happens any day now or, well, Elon said select areas in a few months is where it will be available. So if you are in the market for Starlink right now, we think the Mini is going to be a really great option for a lot of nomads, both for the power consumption and size and potentially lower costs. So if you're in the market for Starlink, you might want to consider waiting, waiting for the Mini to be out and waiting for the first test to come out to see what the performance trade-offs actually are in the real world. But the Mini is indeed exciting news. It's getting closer. There seems to be more details coming out about it all the time. So that's the latest. And be sure to check out our story and our video from yesterday for even more details. So tell me, what do you think of the Starlink Mini? Is this going to be your new RV and boat connectivity option? Are you excited about it? Or are you concerned about the trade-offs? Let us know in the comments and stay tuned for more news. These videos are brought to you by our premium members, our mobile internet aficionados. They make it possible for us to track this news and create these videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, or better yet, consider becoming a member yourself.